Liberia was originally the forest and coastal home of the Mande, Kru, and the Malay speaking peoples, among whom the process of state formations had begun before the arrival of the Portuguese in the 15th century. Hemmed in by mountains and forests, and the area did not come under the influence of the savannah empires of Ghana, Mali, and Songhai, yet its protected geography features allowed the creation of states many of them small and widely scattered but the sufficient contact to form confederations occasionally for the purpose of defense and trade by the 19th century several of these confederations were in existence among them Grebo united kingdom and the dab representing the crew confederacy and the gola of the melee speaking and the condo of the mande speaking people oral traditions supported by portuguese accounts suggest certain migratory trends it is generally believed that the disintegration of the Mali Empire in the 15th century led to in inerit Malike traders and warriors to move from the savannah into the cola plantations of the forest, bringing with them their merchandise as well as Islam. Waves of Mande people are known to have descended in the middle of the 16th century from Upper Guinea into southern regions of Liberia and along the coast of Sierra Leone. One of the most important of these migratory routes seemed to have been the one emanating from the Guinea and entering northwestern regions of present-day Liberia through Vanjama and Lofa County, Zorza, Zolowo, Belayela, and finally Bopalu, a popular trade and market center which led the crossroads of trade routes between the savannah and the coast. Bopola provided easy access to the coast through Maserado and the Cape Mount. It was also a major center in the Condo Federation. Now the impact of Islam was sufficiently great to have led to the invention of indigenous alphabet among the Vi, a subgroup of the Mande, in the early decades of the 19th century. This alphabet employed a medium for general communications became famous and was used during the Second World War as a German secret code. The Monday preserved law and order through powerful secret societies, the Poro for men and the Sunday for the women, which were also vehicles of transmission of culture and traditions from one generation to the next. By 1461, the trade on the Windward Coast was extracted sufficient attention for it to be styled by the Grand Coast by the Portuguese, and by the 16th century, it had become widely known to the European traders as an important center of international trade. Now, European trade with those confederations of outlets to the coast was well established and the crew were notorious for providing assistance to slave traders while themselves uh, avoided capture. The trade in tropical goods was now uh, replaced by a new trade. The modern state of Liberia was an offshoot of slavery and the anti-slave trade movement of the 19th century and was made possible by a combination of fortunate circumstances. The markers of the American Federal Constitution in 1787 had called for the gradual abolishing of the slave trade by 1808, and in 1807 the Congress of the United States passed an act which prohibited the further importation of slaves and provided for the return of Africa of slaves illegally imported. Now the question then arose as to the means of their return to Africa. This was at first considered to be within the jurisdiction of responsibility of the state in which slaves were found. But since few states had the necessary resources, the federal government had to intervene. Thus began a series of legal battles which plagued the, the whole scheme attending the founding of Liberia. A History of West Africa Coming soon The birth of Liberia from a West African perspective. Stay tuned.